வணக்கம் திஸ் இஸ் ஹைதர் அலி சையத் ஃப்ரம் அசிவகம் யுனைடெட் அண்டர் தமிழ் தமிழன் இந்தியில் இல்லையே கிறிஸ்தவம் இஸ்லாமியும் தமிழன் சமயமே இல்லையே ஒன்று ஐரோப்பிய மதம் ஒன்று அரேபிய மதம் சமயம் என்னுடைய சமயம் சைவம் என்னுடைய சமயம் வந்து மாலியம் என்னுடைய சமயம் சிவசமயம் வணக்கம் திஸ் இஸ் ஹைதர் அலி சையத் ஃப்ரம் அசிவகம் யுனைடெட் அண்டர் தமிழ் சிவா by this mid of the month siman spoke about returning back to the tradition in the same press meet he said that christianity is an european religion and islam is an arabian religion thus he calls the people return back to veera saiva so his press meet started the debate and discussion about ghar wapsi many of the political parties are talking about return back to the tradition in the term of spiritualism economy medicine habitual practice social activities and also religion siman gave explanation very soon after the press meet stating that he never said to the christian or mohammedan to return back he said that tamils are not hindus is siman aware of the real history is he going to on the right track is he guided to the wrong direction by the wrong people after this explanation his statement and his stand was really confusing whether he is inviting christians mohammedan to return back to veera saivam or not after his explanation his statement and his stance was really confusing whether he is inviting christians and mohammedan to return back to veera saivam or not he said he is not engaged in religious conversion if so why they are running veera tamilar munani under the label of naam tamilar kachi rss bjp also inviting the christians and the mohammedan towards returning back to mother religion Siman also inviting the people to return back to the tradition now the question is are they really know about where they came from what was the real ghar in other word home do they have deep research over history and then we will decide which ghar wapsi to go in that case we are accepting their invitation for ghar wapsi what will be the result and who will be the beneficiaries first let's know about christianity jesus christ is a black man he came from semitic black people he is the messenger for children of israel jesus mission not for gentiles gentiles refer to settlers that is caucasian persians roman after the life span of jesus christ roman empire established new religion based on hellenistic law guided by the secret society called mithraism in the name of jesus christ against his teaching and policy by the way that took control over the children of israel of semitic black race by the roman since then they are spreading the doctrine of paul in the name of christianity which is against the policies of jesus christ let's know about islam prophet muhammad is a messenger to unite the native black people to fight against the caucasian persian roman invaders to restore the right to the native people but after the time of prophet muhammad persian invaders created new sectors in the name of islam which is against the advice of quran quran says that never split the people in the name of religion but shia sunni sufi wahhabi sectors divided the people based on the persian doctrine in the name of prophet muhammad and islam modern day mohammedan knowingly or unknowingly following the persian doctrine prophet muhammad and quran has nothing to do with these people let's know about shaivam shaivam cult strongly established in tamil nadu after 5th century ad especially after thiru gana samandar period by the time they genocide thousands of samanap saints who followed the asivagam way of life after the well established of shaivam to eliminate the brahmin superiority veera shaivam was established around 7th century ad Asivagam way of life teaching the people about yoga meditation to activate kundalini chakra and achieve higher level consciousness to live with healthy body and healthy mind it is helping to preserve the nature and maintaining the tranquility among the humanity as per the asivagam policies shivan is the first siddha and the first king of pandyan dynasty shivan discovered the way of activation of kundalini chakra and achieving the higher level consciousness based on asivagam way of life without any mediator anyone can achieve the higher level consciousness by practicing yoga and meditation but after the invasion of caucasian settlers to south asia for the benefits of settlers and selfish native hypocrites new religious policy established based on mithraism in the name of shivan thus saivam religious practice established shivan became god caucasian invaders became brahmins they became mediators for moksha and salvation later from the shaivam to eliminate the brahmin supremacy the native hypocrites started veera saivam with the same mithraism based brahmanism concept based on veera saivam the natives hypocrite became the ultimate beneficiaries and they eliminated the shares of brahmin settlers before the era of shaivam originally coal system built for the benefits of native common people as the local administration center 
However, Shaivam, Veera Shaivam and other religious culture converted Koel system as priestly cult based idol worshipping center and recreation center. Shaivam, Veera Shaivam used to suppress the common native people in the name of religious practice. Similarly, Vaishnav cult strongly established in Tamil Nadu around 9th century during the period of Ramanujan. So, Christianity has nothing to do with the advice of the black Jesus Christ. Shia, Sunni, Sufi, Wahhabi are nothing to do with Holy Quran and the black prophet Muhammad. Shaivam, Veera Shaivam are nothing to do with Tamil Shivan and his way of life. As for the Holy Quran, Prophet Muhammad followed the way of life of which followed by Jesus, Moses and Noah. Noah is the Tamil Murugan and he followed the way of life of Set Allies Tamil Shivan. Thus, all the prophets came from Tamil bloodline and they followed the same way of life. They never established any new religion. All the religious establishment by invaders, settlers and native hypocrites to suppress the common native people. Asivagam or real Islam is not a religion. It's a way of life followed by all the prophets. So, there is no question of conversion. Humanity never need a Mithraism based religious ever. We can live without religion. All we need is mental health, physical health and tranquility to live, discipline, manner and preserve the nature. That is our real Gharvapsi. I am requesting Mr. Seeman to review the history and be bold enough to speak the truth to guide the people to the right direction. Further, Seeman said that Tamils are not Hindus. He said that British rulers put the Hindu label on Tamils. Let's look at the history of the word Hindu. Hindu is a Persian word. This name is used to call the native black people who lived around Indus Valley. In those age, black Nagas lived around Indus Valley, whose mother tongue was Tamil. So, Hindus is a geographical identity name of the native people of Indus Valley who spoke Tamil by the time. Historically, when we are talking about Hindu, it is directly highlighting Tamil people only. So, mixed race, non-Tamil and settlers of South Asia cannot be called as Hindu. In other words, Tamil are the only Hindus historically. Because of the threat of Caucasian Brahmins mixed race, does Mr. Seeman wants to leave the historical identity of the Tamils? I am requesting Mr. Seeman to review his stand. Nandri, one of prolonging due to four beastly regime disguised as Muslim world. Satyagam possible only through straight part of first Siddha Tamil Shiva.